first weekend of fall, we're at the cider mill. My week's starting right now. Oh, very muddy. Ah, oh, yes. It's a nice Sunday morning, and we're here just enjoying the cider mill. And I think some cider is being made, actually. Okay, does your dad want to watch cider being made? Because I think it's being made right now. Yeah. Okay, cider. So we have a gold. Making cider. We're still at the cider mill. We're just at a farmer's market, and I'm not going to show these, but we have already got some Christmas shopping done. I love those, hmm? but I got a car because. Oh yeah. I like actually this flower. Yeah, I, I like these types of wood carvings. Those are really cute. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Hand towels and purses. But anyway, yes, we're enjoying just uh, being at the small flea market area. Best part, visiting a cider mill. You got cider, you got a donut to dip this in. Dip it in the cider. You're gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about fall. We also got some pumpkin butter. Yum. Probably would have gotten more type of stuff, but it was also so expensive. <laughs> well, just decide on pumpkin butter because that sounded kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Priscilla's dad's getting drunk off of apple cider. I don't know why. Good cider. My wifey made fresh homemade chop suey. I'm going to get some more stuff on here. Mm. Um, there's only one way to eat. Oriental style food, and that's with chopsticks. <clears throat> now, Priscilla, do you know how to eat with chopsticks? No. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Poppy, do you know how to eat with chopsticks? Okay. Se puedes comer con palillo, dice si. Sabes cómo comer. Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. We need to get chopsticks for him before he <laughs> Okay. Eating with, eating with chopsticks is the only good way to eat. Like, I. It took me a long time to figure out how to use these. Thank you, by the way, to Greg Lansing, who eventually showed me how to use these correctly. And so now I can pick up basically anything I need it. Papi, ¿cómo está el chapsui? Rico. Muy bueno. <laughs> He'll be somewhere with. Okay, bye. See you later. All right, I'll just show you guys what we're doing uh, throughout the week this week. Uh, me and uh, Priscilla's dad. We went to this mall that's uh, right, right beside, or not right beside us, but uh, that we live close to. And I've never been to this mall before. At least I don't remember being at being at this mall. I had to buy some shampoo, and it's a really nice mall. I mean, you can't see anything but a parking lot, but it's a really nice place. So. But anyway, we're off to now the auto store because there's some car things I need to We've just come out of the auto parts store and got the stuff I need. need a windshield cleaner just to uh, rain X the windshield a little bit and help uh, our driving because it is getting to that fall, rainy, cold time of, the, time of the year. So it's good to have your windows at least as clean and clear as possible. So, and then just one other thing. I've got to mention that, um, Priscilla's uh, 
poor dad. Accidentally slammed his finger into the car door on our first stop, which was at the Dollar Tree. And uh, poor guy, he um, he was bleeding. I'm just like, okay, we need to go into the store to get bandages. So, which is fine because we didn't have bandages in the house. So, I'm glad that uh, we were able to the first stop where he had the accident, we actually had a place to where he had bandages and we were able to treat that right away. I was like in the um, bandage section of the, of the store, you know, just ripping open boxes, being like, my dad's bleeding. We are able to fix that issue. And now we are going back home. And when we get back home, I will have ready for you guys the movie of the week and the book of the month. Back home, I took a nap and then was going to be doing some stuff outside, but it decided to rain on us. You can't see out the window, but it, it is uh, kind of sprinkling out there, so I have to wait until tomorrow in order to uh, do what I need to do out there. But that is okay. Hopefully it won't rain tomorrow. Now. I want to get to where I discuss uh, the new da 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 da. There's going to be no 3D graphics or anything like that, but uh, book of the month for the month of September, and as well as movie of the week. And so, first I'm going to do the book of the month, and my book of the month is kind of a um, inspirational. Uh, I would say more like more like just a good book for a nice pick me up, a good a good bathroom. A book. If, if you like the type of person that likes to leave magazines, some type of coffee table book that you know by the toilet just for people you know to pick up and read when they're using the bathroom, this is a good book for that because each each there's like this book has individuals with motivational stories, and the the read is like maybe like a minute or so long, and and so it's just great to have in your bathroom you know when you could be thinking of all sorts of things and you see this and you're just like ah. Oh, and then you just pick out a story, and it's it, and this version, it's it's the older version, really cheap on Amazon. You have like four fifty um, for new, a penny for thirty seven. So you know they're gonna cost you an arm and leg for shipping, but still, I mean, good priced uh, for those types of books. So you could probably get it on Amazon or um, wherever uh, bookstore you can find it. I know there's a new version out there too, but so this is my uh, September book of the month. The Portable Pep Talk, and the author's name is Alexander Lockhart. First movie of the week, and I wanted this to be special since this is my first movie. This movie is one of my favorites. My first movie is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. I would say that all three, you know, the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy is awesome, great, epic. I decided to do Fellowship because it is the first in, in the trilogy. And it just uh, begins everything so well, and it, it edifies the rest, the rest of the two movies. Um, I have, of course, the uh, special extended uh, DVD edition, because I'm the type person that I want to see everything. I remember my first time watching this movie was actually in a the theater years ago when it was released. And when I walked out of the theater, I wanted to watch the, the movie again, and it wasn't the extended version. Um, and... Uh, I, I was walking home at the time, it was like a mile or two walking home, and I felt like I was just walking in Middle Earth. My imagination was just, you know, just burning, and I'm just like, oh, I, I want to know what happens to the rest of the story, because I, I had, yet, had yet to really read The Lord of the Rings at that time, because it's a pretty thick book. But I got it, I finished it within, like, a few weeks. And so I was able to know what, what happened at the rest of the movies. It was cool to see uh, how uh, Peter Jackson uh, interpreted uh, the films with the books, and I'd say he did a pretty fair job considering, you know, you can't put everything from the book into the movie, I know. I think my only big tweak was the scoring of the Shire wasn't in the last movie, but that's okay. These movies just, it's its one of the best book-to-movie uh, adaptations out there, at least I believe one of the best directed movie adaptations that I've seen out there. So, and you can get uh, the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, fairly cheap on Amazon. Now that The Hobbit's uh, being coming out, um, a lot of these are selling fairly cheap, anywhere from like 5 to 20 to $30. And just go to Amazon, you can uh, figure out what well, well is the rest of the trilogy stuff if you want to get the extended version. I mean, if you want to pay like an extra $10, $20 for the extended version, I highly recommend it. Because 
from this you get four DVDs. Two, of course, with the movie with the extended scenes, as well as there's two full-length DVDs that I think are just are like twice, three times as long as the movie that show the making of the film as well. Oh my goodness, it is such a treasure. It is so cool to see behind the scenes and I'm so glad Peter Jackson is doing what he's doing to The Hobbit where he's doing these vlogs and showing behind the scenes already. And, and you've already known my accent with that. But anyway, so this is my movie of the week and uh, we'll see what type of movie we can be able to um, come up with next week. Uh, I promise you it won't be another Lord of the Rings film. It'll be something different. Well, that's pretty much it for uh, my week. I'm going to be actually finishing, finishing this week a little early because there's something special happening during the weekend, which you'll find out in the next vlog, which will be a little over a week from now. Something special. I'm not going to say what it is right now. It's just something uh, me and Priscilla and her dad have been planning for a little while, and so we're going to do it, and uh, we're going to have fun while doing it, even though I still feel a little... A little sick, a little weak. We're still, we're still gonna attempt it. So, you'll find out what that is uh, next time, and I will see you guys next week.